Hey guys, this is Chico. He provides. Hope you're all doing well. Um, we're doing extremely well. We just got back from a little couple of days away trip. We didn't go far. Um, hopefully by now you've seen the Welcome to Mayberry video. That's uh, about 120 miles from here, something like that. But we, it was our anniversary. Uh, we just needed some time away. We're both in hospitality and our busy season is just kicking off. So we really, we want to get rested up and chilled out before it, everything starts to get crazy. So, but while we were away, um, on our way back home, we did a little uh, shopping and I wanted to show you uh, a small haul because I thought it was a good haul. Let me show you my book haul. And I, I realized the book haul videos I do don't, they're not as popular as the saving money or the freebies or those kind of things, but they're hugely important to me. So anyway, we stopped at Half Price Books in Avon, Indiana. So this book right here, The Richest Man in Babylon, I bought it a few months ago. I read it for the first time and thought it was phenomenal, thought it was amazing, wished I had read it when I was a younger man. Although I was kind of stupid when I was a younger man, and I, I don't know that it would have done me any good because I didn't have the right mindset, but it's a great book. And I liked it so much that I gave it to our daughter-in-law. Um, sadly, her and our son Chance have parted ways since then. So she has the book, and it's not like she's holding it hostage or anything, but she has the book, and I hope she reads it because we still love her very much. It's just they're no longer together. So while I was in there, I seen this book and our son Chance, he's, his mindset is in a good place right now. Um, he keeps saying that he thinks 2019 is going to be his breakout year, his year, and I believe it is. I, we picked this book up for him and we think this book, if he'll read it, and I think he may be up to it now, we think this book will help it be 2019 be his year. We think this book, if read and thought about, will put him on the path that he needs to be on. So we picked this up and I gave um, $4.99 for this and we're going to give this to him tonight. Like I said, I bought this book, I read it and I gave it to my daughter-in-law. I want her to read it. But it is such a great book, I wanted to keep it. I want to have a copy here that I can loan out or that I can reference or that I can read again sometime. They had this copy. I had this exactly, the paperback. This is, a, I like hardbacks better. They hold up better. The pages are bigger. Um, this is a great book. It's in excellent shape. No markings, no dog ears. Great book. I got it for $5.99 and I bought this for me. It's gonna go on our shelf. And we're going to keep this. We have certain books that we just keep. But I went into Half Price Books looking for a particular book. I'm always, always trying to learn and be a better man. I want to be a better man tomorrow than I am today. I'm in competition with no one in this world except me. I don't need to be better than you. I don't need to be better than them. And I'm sure not trying to keep up with the Joneses but I want to be better tomorrow than I was today. And one of the ways I do that is studying and reading. And I look, I, I see what other people are reading and I ask questions. And a lot of people recommend The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod, Hal Elrod. The Miracle Morning, the not so obvious secret guaranteed to transform your life before 8 a.m. I work um, 20 minute drive from home. I have to be there at 7 o'clock. I believe that you should be 10 minutes early. Um, 10 minutes early is on time. Um, on time is late and late is unacceptable. That's my own personal beliefs. So I believe you got to be there 10 minutes early. So factor that in 30 minutes. I need to leave here by 630 uh, or 620 to get there. I get up at 4.30 in the morning because I have a routine. 
Um, there's things that I do. But my understanding is there's things in here that I don't know and I don't do and I want to make I want to make my mornings more productive. I don't want to get up in here earlier. I just want to have a better routine. So, The Miracle Morning. I hear it's highly recommended. I'm going to read it, and I believe it will bring value to my life. And I paid $9.99 for this. It's in excellent, excellent shape. Uh, again, no marks or earmarks. There's one dog ear in the whole book. That's the reason I stopped in at Half Price Books. That's the book I was looking for. They had it. The other two was just uh, gravy on the biscuits. So total came to twenty ninety seven, buck forty seven sales tax, seven percent in Indiana. I ended up paying twenty two forty four for the books. I'm very happy. I think it's going to change lives. We also on our way home we passed the Sam's Club. Sam's Club is fifty miles from our home. We don't really go there unless we're in the area. And it worked out this time that we couldn't pick up any frozen stuff or anything that needed to remain cold. Um, because we, after we stopped at Sam's Club, we had other things to do. But we were out of honey. I buy, I drink, or drink, I use honey in my tea every morning. And if I drink tea in the evening, I use honey. And then on the days of the week that I eat oatmeal for breakfast, I use honey in it. Normally, we they've never had the organic before. They have just the uh, regular raw and unfiltered honey, and that's what we buy because it is raw and unfiltered, and it's, uh, it's a pretty good brand. And it was on sale, and now they have the organic. So I got the organic for, um, well, I'll tell you, for what? Twelve ninety eight, and normally I believe we pay fourteen ninety eight for it. So we got it on sale. I bought three bottles of it, and it's organic. It's great honey. I eat it in my oatmeal. I, uh, I put it in my tea, and, and I've been known to use it on wounds. It really helps, like scratches and cuts and scrapes. I use it on that. So twelve ninety nine. I bought three jars. We bought this. The Ultimate Clean, it's a Members Mark choice, or brand, Sam's Club brand. It's comparable to Dawn. We've used Dawn for a long time. We're all about cutting our expenses, and we're, at this stage of our life, we're about saving as much money as we can and bumping up our retirement funds. This is much cheaper than Dawn. Um, and after finding out that it works great and we're satisfied with it, we picked up another one and it's $6.98 for 100 fluid ounces and it works great so we picked it up you all know or, or most of you know that we used to coupon we haven't bought laundry detergent in at least a year and a half but we're getting close to needing it we're down to two bottles I think so we looked at these and the comparable brands knockoffs whatever you want to call it are generally pretty good at Sam's Club. So this is kind of a uh, take on gain. It smells good. We bought it for $14.98. It's 127 loads. Haven't used it yet, but we believe it'll be good. And if it is good, we'll continue to use it. And if it is good, we'll let you know down the road somewhere. So this is our, oh, and we paid $60.90 for all of this. We won't have to buy dish detergent for probably a year. Um, the honey will probably last me probably five months, four months, five months. And the laundry detergent, 127 loads, I'd have to do some math, but we probably do four loads of laundry a week, so I'll let you do the math. But we shouldn't have to buy any of this stuff for quite some time. Sales tax, Buck fifty four. We paid sixty two forty four for all of this, and I'm personally happy um, with our purchase. We have no cost codes around us, and we love Aldi's, but Aldi's is kind of limited on some of this stuff. Um, so when we get an opportunity to go to Sam's, we do. Hey guys, we hope you like this small haul. Um, we hope you'll give us a thumbs up, share the video, and we hope if you're not a subscriber. 
that you'll click that button right now. Godspeed, guys. Thanks for coming along.